Hi there Gemini, this is going to be your work and money reading for July 2020. So I'm just going to give these cards a shuffle Gemini and when that first one falls that's going to be your overarching energy for work and money for the month. I will then choose three cards for your money story which I'll clarify and then we'll also be choosing some cards specifically for financial or money matters, or your investments, wherever your money may be. So let's just get these shuffled. If big um, stacks fall or flip, guys, I put them back in. I'm looking for that clear message. One or two card flips or falls. Work on money for Gemini for July 2020. There it goes. The High Priestess. Beautiful. Okay, so definitely being asked to use your intuition when it comes to work and money this month. Let's choose your other cards. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have ooh, the Death Energy. And we have all oh, the Fool. I mean, what perfect um, cards there, Gemini, when you do have the Death card quickly followed on with the Fool. Right, I'm now going to shuffle out. Here we go. Finances. All right. You can see that there might have been some stuck energy in the past, but oh my goodness, the Empress is here to change that up for you. Beautiful. Okay, guys, let's get the clarifiers. Just want to clarify that Five of Pentacles for Gemini's work situation. Yeah, oppression, which is actually the devil energy, guys. Definitely. Um, leaving a cycle of toxicity when it comes to your work and money or maybe limitation definitely feeling that sense of limitation sorry guys it's getting a bit fumbly here let's clarify the death card please there it goes two of crystals gosh the cards are so animated sorry <laughs> two of crystals yeah so it, it might be more than one option that you've got for this new beginning here that you might be choosing between might be some indecision feeling a little ungrounded and there goes the clarifier for the full we have the knight of pentacles yeah planting new seeds new beginning all right guys let's read these cards okay gemini your overarching energy for work and money for july is the high priestess now you're really being asked to use your intuition and really tune into that um, you know, those inner thoughts, those innate feelings when you're making decisions this month. I mean, there's definitely a new beginning here for you. So definitely listen to that wisdom. Um, the High Priestess is an energy, guys. She can also be the revealer of mysteries, right? Now, we do have a situation that you're releasing around um, some toxic energy, devil energy, in fact. So, you know, the, the High Priestess energy might actually bring something to light. It might reveal an illusionary energy um, to you, something that has been holding you back in terms of your work and money. So just definitely be paying attention to the signs, synchronicities, your own intuitions this month as well. So guys, if we look here in your recent past work situation, we have the Five of Pentacles with oppression, which is the devil energy. Now this indicates to me that there has been some kind of hardship for you guys i mean gosh so many people are having hardship at the moment in terms of work and money situation hey we're in the middle of a global pandemic um so some of you may have lost your job through that i know that sounds very uh, a cliche message at the moment but this is what this this um, card can really be about it can be about that feeling of scarcity that feeling of lack um that feeling of being without and being afraid of you know, being left um, alone or financially independent as well. Now, mixed with the devil energy, it could indicate a debt situation. Some of you guys might have been paying off debts and then all of a sudden, you know, you're without work as well. And it just highlights that that situation is, you know, now worse than, than what it should have been. Um, the devil energy can also be that kind of temptation to to overspend, to, to get into more debt or... This can also be your self-limiting beliefs about actually going to the next level in your career. You know, there's a sense here of keeping yourself small. But I see here in your in your reading, you've got the Empress, you have the full Gemini. There are new beginnings for you, potentially beginnings to 
go on a new direction to step up and that kind of thing but if we're in the self-limiting thoughts if we don't believe in ourselves you know it's funny how we sometimes just end up um, in that self-perpetuating cycle of lack breeds lack this card can talk about that so the message with the five of pentacles is to see the big picture guys to see the big, big picture of how everything's falling out and understanding that you know you do have the resources that you need um, number five is the number of conflict but it's also the number of change so it says that there is a change that needs to happen in your work and money situation this month in order to get you to where you want to be and I see that change the death card it's coming in for you so yeah the devil energy guys you know it can be just that illusionary self-limiting beliefs oh maybe I'm not good enough to go for this, pro or this promotion um, you know maybe I don't have the skills and I say just go for it anyway listen to your intuition and go for it anyway right so that's what I'm seeing here guys it look it, it, there's so many ways that we can read this it could also be with that devil energy it can be um, it can be you know code financial codependency in a relationship I'm feeling that less in this reading but it is possible that that could be a message for for one of you but either way there's a, ser a sense of lack that is coming to an end because in your financial sector at the end of this reading guys you have the Empress who is definitely about abundance and possibility so I see here we have um, the death card and the two of crystals so for me this is that change coming in it's the change that is going to release you from that devil energy now the death energy comes in when a cycle needs to end right a cycle of hardship a cycle of you know not getting to where you want in your career uh, a cycle of missing out on the jobs missing out on the promotions all of that kind of thing or the illusion that illusion of those thoughts those limiting beliefs death energy is the energy that comes in to clear the slate to end a cycle to let something pass so that new beginnings can come in for you you know new dawn new day we have the sun energy here then we see that fully illuminated in the full energy which is to come so there is a new beginning that is uh, beginning to open for you but first of all the, sl the slate needs to be clear and that's what death energy does to you so you're being asked to surrender to letting something go and it could be letting letting go those limiting beliefs or that kind of thing or it could be removing whatever this toxic energy is that devil energy that's holding you back it could be stepping away from that also now with the two of crystals here this is actually the juggler card um, if we were to look at the rider version of this card it can mean that you might be juggling responsibilities at work in this month you might have a lot on your plate and it might mean with this death card that something needs to go so that you can really focus you can really refocus and you can focus on this new beginning that's opened up or it may mean that you're juggling um, you know priorities between work and home as well I also feel that for some of you you might have as that full energy that's coming up more than one doorway opening up for you and there might be a sense of indecision as well about which doorway to walk through right that's something else I'm feeling and there can be some feelings of unsteadiness as well as you know we close the cycle change can be you know it can be scary change is change guys it's never comfortable but we do need to surrender to it when the death energy comes in because it's coming in so that you can start a new season a new cycle guys you know it's complete it's change right we need to be like the the child who doesn't really understand that sometimes there is pain and hurt associated with new cycles so it looks deaf in the eye whereas the adult is fainting away from it because she knows that there's going to be a certain amount of um, uncomfortable feelings that come with change but change is coming in to bring you to a beautiful new beginning a new start in your working career this this month Gemini because we have the fall and the night of crystals right beautiful fresh new start laying new foundations new plans so for some of you this could be a new job opportunity for others of you I feel like this could be going out on your own or transitioning your work into something that really aligns with your true purpose the fall has this message of reconnection with the rebel heart which for me means reconnecting with your truth your authenticity your higher purpose so some of you you know might have been feeling that sense of lack and hardship with the devil and five of pentacles because it was just like oh gosh here we go another day another dollar this is what I've got to do you know you're on that cycle of feeling stuck of feeling trapped because you know you're having to 
be puppeteered um, and you know you, you can't get out of that cycle or there's the feeling of you can't get out of the cycle the fall is like exploding into your own light realizing that you can actually walk your own path you can lay down your own foundation if you want to start your own business or go freelance or start another little new project on the side then you can do that Gemini you just need to lay the foundation Knight of Pentacles Knight of Pentacles is the energy of somebody who knows that in order to reap the harvest in the next season you know the death card talks about cycles and seasons as well then we need to get out there now work the land plant the seeds nurture the seeds watch them grow so that can mean you know okay if I want to get from A to B what do I need to get there do I need to go and you know do an online course do I need to study do I need to change my attitude um, you know if I'm trying to save for something you know do I need to make a savings plan what do I need to give up do I need to even if I just give up my, my daily coffee like here in Australia it's like you know four dollars a day it's a thousand dollars a year guys just like that from making a coffee at home for yourself so just think about the things that you can do in order to get to where you want to be and the knight of crystals is that practical methodical efficient energy right to you know to reap that harvest in the next season that is one of the slowest moving energies in the tarot guys so it says that you're walking a new path in order to get you know to that um, place that you're receiving the results and the rewards that you want then maybe that's coming in the next season but it doesn't come unless you prepare now and you know this new direction that you're heading in Gemini I mean the fool trusts the path even though the destination hasn't fully revealed itself so some of you might sort of have these ideas on the boil for different things you can do with your finances with your job and you're not too sure how it's all going to play out yet but you know that the fool isn't concerned with that. This is asking you to take a leap of faith, to trust anyway, and then to see what happens. Again, here guys, we have the little dog, which is the link to our instincts. Tunes back into the high priestess energy. We must um, trust our instincts and intuition this month. The high priestess may reveal something to you through that releasing that toxic situation that is going to be the liberating factor for you. It's like, aha, uh -huh, now I know what I need to let go of in order to really shine in my light, to really find my true success when it comes to my job. Now I feel like I can be seen, I can step up, I can lead, I can go for that promotion. You know, I feel like there's going to be some sort of quantum leap in your own confidence as well. Um, maybe once you kind of get rid of whatever that is in that... Um, that devil energy now in your financial sector over here guys we have the eight of swords and we have the three the three the empress who was number three um the eight of swords shows to me, shows me guys that there was that energy of feeling stuck in the sector um potentially in the past or leading up to now i would say because of this situation here you know the lack feeling like you didn't have enough being in scarcity mindset makes you feel stressed you know, swords is that intellectual energy. It can be the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the stressing out about it. The nine of swords, the next one, is an elevation in those stress, stress levels, right? Before we need to complete a cycle. So you're being offered the opportunity now to release yourself from this before that escalates. And what's really interesting about the eight of swords energy here, guys, is that you'll notice the person is bound around third eye, heart, and gut which are all of our intuitive centers. And you're being asked to tune into the high priestess this month. So it says to me the key is to really deeply listen, to really intuit what might be going on and making the right practical, methodical, efficient steps for you under that Knight of Pentacles energy. It says that you know there's a path out of whatever financial difficulties you may have had or where cash flow wasn't flowing in or you didn't have enough work on to, to you know, meet your financial obligations it says there is a pathway out of that potentially the limitation was you you know your mind and that that lack mentality or that you know feeling of not being able to achieve well I see that coming to an end this month and then ending on the empress guys I mean the empress says that anything is possible whatever you want to create can be created she is the energy of abundance so she is the shift into financial abundance and she wants to help you achieve whatever it is you desire with your finances this month so she really is that turning point she links to the natural cycles as well so she really says that if you let something complete and it's winter now you plant those seeds 
then the Empress is the promise of the harvest and the abundance that will follow for you, um, you know, going forward from the situation. Gemini, I love it. I'm going to pull you an Oracle card from the Work Your Light deck just to finish off. They're not finance specific guys, but they are just going to be a general energy or message for you to take through the month for you in terms of work and money. What do we have please for Gemini? We'll take that one, top of the deck, trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? Well, whatever it is, Gemini, the High Priestess wants to, you know, alert you to what is in your intuition that indicates that something might be a bit off and it might be within yourself with that Devil and Five of Pentacles or it might be externally, but trust the niggle, you know, really tune into it and then take the inspired action. Let pass what needs to pass. Take the Fool's journey, the Fool's leap and then allow that Empress to birth into your, into your realm the abundance that you truly desire. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I do wish you a brilliant month in work and money. Uh, do keep in mind I'm reading for a collective here. It might not be your reading this week, this month, and that is absolutely fine. If you feel called to share, please do. I do read all the comments. I try to reply to them all. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies. And I'll see you back here next month for another work and money reading.